Go. All right, hello all. So um, I wanted to do this video for the uh, gentleman I won this gem avocado tree from. Uh, San, San Diego, Diego Tropical Garden. Tropical Garden. Um, I was lucky enough to like, comment, and subscribe to his page. And win a giveaway. And somehow I ended up winning this gem avocado tree, which I had planned on ordering one anyway, but <laughs> it's, I have uh, about nine or ten avocado trees, but this is the first one on the colonial rootstock do so. The plan was to put this thing in a small pot for the first six months or so and kind of work its way up to a larger pot like uh, this holiday that I have here and my Pinkerton over here. So um, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is drill some holes, some drainage holes. And I kind of got my daughter recording here. Yeah. Um, in the past, I've always planted my trees in some type of grow mulch or just an organic uh, soil, and most of them grow slow, um, short of my large haas over here. You want to point it over there, the haas? Well, it's behind the tangerine tree. You can kind of see the edge of it. Just zoom in. Here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's good. So anyway, uh, recently I learned that um, watching Gary's uh, from Laguna Nurseries videos that these things need a sandy loam. So I've converted to using more sand and decomposed granite and a little bit of the uh, organic stuff. So I'm using some vermiculite, cocoa core, earthworm castings. But the majority being sand and decomposed granite. Okay, so once again, I'm back. Um, I forgot to say that it's Memorial Day. We're just out here um, grilling. grilling. I got the meat smoking on the grill, so I thought it was a good time to plant this uh, gem avocado that I won from a YouTuber called San Diego Tropical Gardens um, before we went away. Uh, I started talking about the soil, so I'm going to use palm and citrus, palm, cactus, and citrus um, mix. Um, I'm at the bottom of my uh, sand. It's called wash plaster sand. So that's all we're going to have today is just a little bit. And this is the main ingredient. I'm going to use some decomposed granite because avocados like a sandy loam. Um, this is called vermiculite. It helps it uh, retain moisture. So, Since you got a sandy loam, sometimes the water drains so well that it gets dry. That it gets dry. You got a little bit of what we call cocoa core. So it helps retain moisture as well and protects uh -huh. against under and over watering so this can't hurt and as you all know potted containers um, are known to dry out a little bit faster um, and then i'm going to put a little bit of earthworm casting all right and we'll put a little bit of this on top as well and i went a little bit light on the almond Cactus, citrus, citrus and cactus mix. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of that. It looks like there's some perlite and some organic matter in there. And let's see, once we mix this all up, I'll see if we had enough for this small pot. If not, So 
we're going to sit this tree right in the bottom. Make sure the roots in the bottom are. Sit this there. It's a little bit high. Basin. Nicely. You want to rough up the roots just a little bit, wake them up as a, some of you call it. Too much. Can start adding the soil. Drink a little from the air pockets, but I think. We got enough. A little too much if it doesn't shrink. Okay, so now we're going to add some water to see if this will shrink down. We'll tamp this down a little bit. Uh, like to usually leave about an inch to two inches. Um, we're gonna add some mulch at the end. So we'll see if this doesn't settle a little bit. Push out the air pockets. Yeah, it seems like it's settling down a little bit. Don't want to push too hard and disturb the roots. Almost there, folks. Oh. Earthworm casting on top. Just a little bit. A little bit of the Job's organic fertilizer. Once again, this is a small tree, so I emphasize just a little bit. Then I, I like to use the uh, some type of mulch, ground up wood chip to work. Um, all I have now is this ground cover from Home Depot, so it'll have to work for now. Um, once again, this soil's probably gonna settle down a little bit more over the next couple hours after I add a little more water. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I'll add some, I'm not gonna do it on camera, but I'll add a little bit of uh, super 